Welcome everybody. Welcome to Python Lake Solution 253 Meeting Rooms to Solution 2. So, um, in the last video, we have talked about how we can solve this uh, by using heap. And in this tutorial, we are going to talk about how to solve it in a simpler way and with only with time complexity of big O of n. So here, let's draw some meetings. Um, three meetings, all right? And the idea in this method is basically to get out all the, to separate the start and ending times um, and to compare them. What, what does it mean? So let's say um, here is the start, means the starting time, and I also have uh, E for ending time, all right? So for the starting time, I'm going to get all of them, which is three meetings here. All right, so I got the starting time for three meetings. And in the meantime, I also got the ending times for the three meetings. So the idea is it just compared the starting and ending time. So the algorithm is first, it would do for, uh, for example, i in range of uh, s, let's say s of length. So every time it will just, in each iteration, it will just move the s uh, one to the, to the right. And the ending index for any time, it will just, let's say, index, it will start at zero, all right? So as long as this starting time is uh, larger or is smaller than the ending time, then the rooms, let's, let's say the room is initialized as zero, then the room uh, will plus one. So if S smaller than E, then room will plus one. This is because if your starting time for a room is actually smaller than an ending time. So the ending time is actually the ending time for the previous meeting. And if you start earlier, then of course there will be a clash here. And therefore here uh, we have to add the rooms by one, all right? However, uh, if S is larger, uh, or actually, yeah, actually we can just use else here. Else, uh, the room would just, sorry, the room doesn't change, but the E index will plus one, all right? This is because if, if this, um, the starting time is actually equal or larger than the ending time, actually another room has already um, been available for another meeting, and therefore E should be plus one. So let's see how to realize this in Python. So here all the setups are identical to uh, solution one. So here the first thing I'm going to do is um, probably plus s. So I'm going to find how many meetings are there. And I'm go also going to have the start times meetings. And also I have the end. Um, to record all the all the um, ending time for meetings, and the reason why I first oops first initialize it as all zero instead of append uh, the values later on is because this is much faster. If you have a very large number uh, of intervals, then uh, this can save you a lot of time. So for index in range. Um, meeting numbers. I'm going to repent. I'm going to change my index to zero. Oops. And same for and hey, instead it is one. Um, I think I lost something.
All right. So now we have got um we have got all the starting and ending time for each meeting. And what we need to do next is we have to sort them. And after we sort them, we are able to probably first we initialize our end index as zero here. And for index in range meeting numbers, uh, we're going to compare, all right? So if start the index is smaller than our end and end index, we're going to plus rooms by one. Otherwise, we're just simply add the end index by one and I think here all right and last but not least we just return the room set and let's run it all right so it's still two all right so as you can see this question this solution is quite straightforward um the sword actually takes um big O of n times log n and uh, however for um, the iteration here is just basically big O of n so this is quite you know um, straightforward I would say um, and I think largely this question is simpler compared to solution one but anyway the time complexity should be the same um, but this would be similar to understand and you do not need any other um, built-in library in Python. Alright, so this I think is, is the end for the meeting room uh, questions. So if you like this video, please please give me a thumb up. Click the, uh, if you like this video, please click the thumb up button. Um, if you have any questions or concerns, also please feel free to leave them below. Otherwise, I'll see you in next video.